Hey guys, I'm here in Atlanta with my new rescue dog, Tula. Say hi. Tula means new moon in Sioux Native American language and um, we named her that because she's black and the new moon is the darkest um, phase of, this, of the moon. And she's got this little white streak. She's a rescue dog from all the hurricane dogs. And um, we also got her during the week of a new moon, so we thought it was a great beginning. And I thought I would talk to you about beginnings in this new season right now. Tonight and tomorrow is the fall equinox. And so the equinox, equa, means when the sun is crossing the equator in a way that we have equal, um, the closer you are to the equator, the, the um, more equal you have of day and night, daylight hours and nighttime hours. Um, so we're in this period of shift going into fall, letting go of summer and all the beauty and all the fruit that came with summer and all the, the light that comes with summer with all of the, um, the gifts that summer brings us and we go towards a period of reflection. And it's a beautiful transition and the seasons are given to us to let us know that in life, you know, we also have seasons. And fall, as I'm noticing here on my patio, and as we're talking, we'll see some leaves kind of drop. They're, the leaves are already starting to drop here in the south, and I'm sure the further north you are, the leaves are dropping. And it's a beautiful reminder that, you know, even plants give us this symbol of shedding. And uh, when the, um, don't you agree to that? When things no longer serve us, we are to release them and let them go. And it's a beautiful recognition of clearing our lives and of making room for something new and of, of shedding a season of, of what has, has happened and what has come into our lives that needs to go that no longer serves us. And it's also a good time to reflect on since last fall, you know, what have you done since last fall? Where were you this time last fall as we were going in from summer into fall and you probably had some thoughts of new things you wanted to create, you know, and as you went into the new year and were there anything that was there anything that you created that you can be super proud of and this is a time to recognize that so today I really want to um, I want to encourage you to take some time with nature what's coming through right now in spiritual teachings and as I'm working with my guides is that we really ground into the earth and that we really ground um, with nature and that means you know getting up close to some of the the parts of nature that really resonate with you, whether that's the ground, the trees, the leaves, the flowers. You can hear my fountain down there. The um, the um, element of water is super important for us. And you know, we had the eclipse not too far ago, long ago, and we've been very like up here and focused up. And it's time now to focus inward and to focus a little bit down and to ground into the earth and to appreciate the harvest that she's bringing us and the, the changing of the seasons and to know that you also in your life, that there's great meaning to letting go. There's great spiritual meaning to realizing if something doesn't align with you anymore or bring you joy or benefit you, that it's okay you know, to let it turn a beautiful color and to let it go with joy and to be grateful. And to know, as I've talked about in old videos, you know, the, um, you so sweet, the, um, the leaves and the, the things that fall, the things that you let go of, the earth will actually turn them into fertilizer for something new. It transforms it into something that the new plants will actually feed on to produce something new. So that is a metaphor and a spiritual meaning for fall in your life. Whatever you decide to release that no longer serves you, it will actually go down and go into your spiritual earth and your spiritual soul and make room, make fertilizer for something new and it creates space for something to come into your life because your intention then is set to clear and to open up for something new. So I want you to remember today and tomorrow as we go into fall, here's my other dog Tucker, as we go into fall that it is a super meaningful time and it's a time to set an intention for what you would like to see shift in your life. So you know go sit out under a tree, go hug a tree for real, it actually improves well-being, I know. Go put your feet in a creek, go put your feet on the ground and notice the moss that is in the ground and that's around your feet and the millions and millions of little worlds that are happening right under your feet with all the bugs and nature and all the plants and the root systems and know that you are a beautiful part of something huge, this earth, and that the meaning and the shift of the seasons is also meaningful for you. So remember, you have such a sacred power in you that is derived directly from God, directly from nature, and you are a part of it. So use it to help you grow in your spiritual walk and remember to always lead with your heart. Have a great night. Have a great beginning of fall. Happy fall, y'all. Right, Tula? Bye-bye.